What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. From the time Kawhi Leonard entered the NBA about ten years ago or so, we saw him improve from being a solid role player to being a borderline All Star, a perennial All Star, and then ultimately becoming a superstar. Right, and we saw what he did when he went to a team that he didn't even want to go to. Uh, that being the Toronto Raptors back in 2018 and 19. But starting in 2017, there was a, a disturbing trend that developed with Kawhi Leonard, and that was his tendency to miss games. Now, initially, the load management strategy worked. It led to a championship in Toronto, so when he went to the Clippers, you know, you kind of understood it. Well, at least he's still going to play in 60-something games during the regular season. He'll be there in the playoffs, and he can make a long run. That was the plan. But ultimately, the injuries got more and more, you know, severe. Uh, he missed more and more time. And then there were games when he wasn't playing when he was actually healthy, which has ruined you know, the chemistry and the, for the team and the hopes of fans. And here we are after he missed an entire season, the 2021-22 season. Here we are now with reports that his injuries are still there. They're worse than before, or worse than uh, initially expected at least. And he's out indefinitely. Paul Pierce has called him out on this, all right? Paul Pierce in a recent appearance, and I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. In a recent appearance on KG Certified, former Celtic superstar Paul Pierce gave his take on the Leonard situation and called out the five-time All-Star for seemingly always finding ways to miss games. He said, quote, We don't hold Kawhi accountable enough because... Him being at the status that he is, we mention him in the same breath as LeBron, KD, when he's at his best. But then how we talk about Anthony Davis not being available, we don't put Kawhi in that group because we, we think about his last four or five years. He's missed about two seasons. He's always out. Ain't really put a lot of games together, but we never talk about that. Yeah. And uh, that's my problem with him, man. Like, look, Paul Pierce, I think it was back in 2000, Paul Pierce was stabbed, right? There was an incident where he was stabbed numerous times. And if Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce did not have on that heavy leather jacket, he may not have made it. And he was a lot more injured than reports at the time indicated. I think that stab had happened a month before the season started, and Paul Pierce still played in all 82 games. So one thing about Paul Pierce is you, you, you never question his commitment to playing. And this is the reason why I have a problem with Kawhi Leonard because we will clown AD for missing games but Kawhi has missed a lot more games than AD and AD has at least this year shown the willingness to go out there and gut it out you know what I'm saying yesterday you know playing against the uh, Jazz his back looked better he gutted it out he didn't sit down he went out there and played against the Nuggets and against the Pelicans and it earned him praise. But Kawhi, there have been numerous times when he's actually not really injured or um, he's just hurt, but he could go out there and play, but he doesn't choose, he chooses not to. And that's why when it comes to ranking him all time, I, I can't put that dude in the top 40. He's missed way too many fucking games. You know, people make the excuses for Bill Walton about not putting him in the top 50 because of all the games missed, and I can understand that. But when you look at Kawhi Leonard, this is a guy 
that has missed 37% of available games, including last year. 37%. That's a lot of fucking games, man. So at the end of the day, I side with Paul Pierce. Shit is ridiculous. Tell me what you guys think. And, and by the way, before I go, before I click off this video, you could definitely argue that Kawhi Leonard helped to start this trend of load management. So he's been a negative. Uh, he's been a negative. Uh, you know, uh, he set a, a a a negative trend, and he's been a negative influence when it comes to this shit. You know, so tell me what you guys think.